End of the alley. Isaac's inside. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna come here first. Hi. Sorry, no vacancies. I'm just taking a look around. Feel free, babe. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you meet lots of types of men. You, you get stories, you get characters, you know. This this kind of place where writers go to study human behavior, man. It, it's invaluable. Are you... Huh. See, a lot of writer types here. A lot of entertainment types. You're a writer? Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like... That's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, a, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. Then why are you working here? Stop being such a gatekeeper if you love something. Why wouldn't you want more people to be considered the same thing as you? You're a writer. Your friend's a writer. Everybody's a writer. Gosh. <sighs> what do you write? Does a writer write, or does he just, like, ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120-page piece of film genius? But, you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that, that's what I write mostly, I guess. Okay, so your answer is old horror films. That's all I needed. <laughs> I like horror films. Horror? What kind of horror film are you working on? Me? I'm, like... Looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, okay, popular characters. But me, I'm going to be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be like it's going to be believable. Oh, too bad this game came out before Twilight, or else we probably would have seen a reference here. <laughs> vampires? What do you know about vampires? Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff. You know, like. What would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? By not appearing in the sunlight so that you can't see that they actually sparkle. <laughs> We're gonna kill him right away? <laughs> I see. Well, I must be going now. Damn, you dodged a bullet there, boy. Could have killed you in one dialogue option. Night eating you? Other way around. See ya. Everyone has a radio on at night. That is an older computer! Wow, that's... There's like a joystick here. Uh, thanks, but I've already heard you, Deb. We are looking for... We don't have a room number. Did we have another room number in the... Thing? No, no room number. I guess we just go around looking around. For some reason, the pool is drained. Maybe because it's nighttime. If they have a pool, this motel can't be that bad. Motel? Hotel? Oh. Okay, that's the one we have. Alright. Oh my god! Whoa! My work is done. Oh my god! It's that guy! <gasps> oh no! Muddy! Oh, it's that guy that we saw back at the diner! Because he was like, hey, uh, Milton, bring Durbin with you. Make sure both of you come. And then last time he killed Milton. And now he killed Muddy. Crap. Sorry. Brother Salvage. I just don't want people seeing me do this. I'm scared someone's gonna get mad at me. Freaking lifted the entire door. What the hell? Oh no. You found a business card from Brothers Salvage in Santa Monica at the latest murder scene. Santa Monica? I don't remember this name at all. Oh, Mud Hunt finished. Now we only have Carnival of Death. Okay. Well, besides Muddy and Milton, that guy killed a lot of other people. That guy that was really unfriendly at the diner. I don't remember this place at all. Oh, maybe it's next to, um, 
It's that place that was locked. Next to Bertram Tong? Maybe. Okay, well, I'll, I'll make a note of it, and I'll, I'll let the front desk know that this has happened. Uh... Okay, sorry. I tried. So I can't do this one. This one is simple. Eight! Come on, I've gotta be able to do eight. Can I really not? I have five! I have five! Oh! If I put another one into security right now, and then do Auspex. Would that be cool? I think so. Yeah? No? Oh, it's not Auspex. It's, uh, I'm sorry, it's Blood Buff. There we go. But Auspex probably wouldn't be a bad idea anyway, just to make sure that no one's gonna be inside the room that I'm lockpicking. But why on earth did we come in here? There's literally nothing! Oh, maybe this is one of those instances where we're going all over the place a little bit too early. You know what? Let's go to the jewelry store then. After I look at all these doors... Please don't be eight. Oh man, I... Okay. The rest of these are all keypad related. Come on, hey, there we go. Jim... What did it say? Jim something. Black Rose distribution since 1998. Seems like a... Maybe like a logistics company? Company computer? Easter eggs. L Lichens. Oh, that's an interesting password. Hint. The dancing werewolves. Open doors here often. To the werewolf in the sky. In the end, the ending, you'll manage to pass by. Okay. I will make a note of that. <laughs> Whatever that means. Printer. Invoices. Sending invoice list to the printer. Please wait. Okay, nothing. Easter eggs. Okay, what was that then? Open all the doors when I see stuff related to werewolves. In the end, the ending, you'll manage to pass by. Okay. Cool, I guess. This door doesn't open the right way. What is with people and the furniture? Gosh. It's too cramped here for that door to open that way. Okay. Well, there's not much going on at Lucky Star, it doesn't seem, unless we find more key cards. Okay, thank you for having me over. Night eating you? Did you know there's a dead body in one of your rooms? Already? Man, that's early for tonight. Oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up. <laughs> to protect and serve, right? <laughs> Something like that. Guess I'm out of here then. Yeah, uh, thanks man. See ya, never. And good luck with your horror film writing. Maybe one day I'll see your name in some credits. Okay. End of the alley. Isaac's inside. Are you stalking me or what? What's this place? Can't go in. Um, I've lost my train of thought a little bit. Hold on. Okay, so we have the brother salvage back in Santa Monica, which we're not gonna go back to right now. So okay, fine. Why don't we go to the jewelry store then? The jewelry store. We can leisurely look around later. <laughs> I say as I beeline towards something else. Okay, okay. Oh! Cavaletti Cafe! We gotta find the writer later. Sunset print. Closed. Hey, end of the alleyway. Oh, here we go. Abram's Golden Age Jewelry. Okay, you want me to go through the back?
Does he know who I am? He should. He knows that I'm part of the Camarilla. And he knows that I'm the one who ratted Nines out, so to say. He might be angry. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? You tell me. One of your goons directed me here. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. Okay, just to say hi? Sure. I'm pretty sure LaCroix agreed that this was his domain too. And what purpose would that be? It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Understandable. So, what sort of understanding is there going to be between us? Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. I see. So what do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? <laughs> You want me to kill him? Mm. You're worried it's a setup, so you're sending me instead? Speaking of paranoia, no. Simple pickups, all that's involved. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? So why don't you do it then? I haven't really gotten a chance to push back yet. Let's try pushing back a little bit. You enjoy this, don't you? Making people dance on your chain. You live long enough, you'll be asking some whelp to do the same thing. And as I mentioned, this is simply a matter of tribute. He seems like an old-fashioned guy. And for an anarch. I guess because the only impression I have of Anarchs from back in downtown is the last round. And everybody in there was kind of like um, the rocker, listening to metal music kind of type. But you're like in a formal suit and all. A little bit different. Are you also a gangrel? Oh, no, no. I mean, uh, Bruja. Bruja. <sighs> I'll do it. But I have some questions first. There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. There had better be. Package delivery. Never done that before. I'm gone. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thanks. Okay, we are exactly what I said. We, we're running errands for a different person now. I'm a little bit surprised you were Isaac, though, because this seems like the reception area to me. Oh, but I guess it's the back. The back of the jewelry store? Jewelry store. So you're financially probably pretty powerful. May I look at your computer? I may not. You made good time. Hand me the item. <laughs> oh, 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 right. I almost forgot. Let me go get that. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. This guy likes applying gentle, passive-aggressive pressure on people. Isaac is demanding tribute from you, for whatever the heck reason, because he's traditional and all that. Before finding the Nosferatu, he has sent you to Ground Zero, the Internet Cafe. The Internet Cafe. Which we haven't come across yet. I could use a little bit of blood if anybody has any. Anybody looking here? If not, I'm gonna freaking... Pretty risky, huh? First night in Hollywood, and I'm draining a guy in the middle of the day. 
Middle of the night. Middle of the streets. But it worked out. Oh my gosh, is Whoa. that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. I was thinking she was my old friend from my old life, my old non-vampiric life, but I don't know her. Uh, who are you? It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. I kind of want to see where this goes, though. I don't... I don't want to just tell her to go away right away. I don't lose my memory after becoming a vampire, right? So I'm pretty sure I don't know her. Hmm. But if you're gonna cause a scene... Please don't. I think you've made a mistake. I just moved here. I don't know you. Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me, it's Samantha. What happened to you? Uh, honestly, Samantha, I'm not her, okay? You understand? It is you! I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see, everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here, I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. But... Am I gonna wait here? Or am I leaving? Oh, she's going to the phone booth, maybe. It's gonna be okay. Oh no, I messed with her loop. It's gonna be okay. Are you going to the phone booth? Should I wait? Well, why not? Why not? I'm not sure why I'm so scared. My responses seem really scared of her. Being like, oh, please don't tell anybody I'm alive. Hey, Jenny, yeah, it's Sam. You'll never believe who I found. You know who disappeared a little while ago? Yeah, I know, I couldn't believe it either. Just walked by me in Hollywood. She's right here. Anyhow, something seems wrong, and I, I wondered if you could call a few people and... Well, she didn't recognize me at first, and I think it might be drugs or something. She needs our help. Okay. Well, well maybe... Maybe we could check her into a hospital or get the police involved. Whoa. Well, we can't just leave her like this. She's... All right, call them, and, I, and I'll keep her here. Just let everybody know that she's alive, and we're gonna get her some help. I can't go to the hospital. <sighs> Why did I wait? Why did I wait? Why did I wait? It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I played right into their hands. Oh my god. But I didn't even... Nothing even happened yet, though. It's more of a violation. Whoa, 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 whoa. In case of the future, right? What do you want from me? It's gonna be okay. You gonna follow me eternally or what? You already ruined my life. What do you want from me? You gave me a violation for something so stupid. God, I hate you. Go away. What do you want from me? Help! This lady's crazy! She she won't leave me alone! Hey, stop right there! But was there a way to stop her though? Because once she made that phone call. Are you avoiding me now or what? Are you bugged out? <laughs> there was no way I could avoid that though, right? I don't think so, because my persuasion wasn't enough to convince her to stop. And she was gonna make the phone call anyway. So whether or not I was there, would I still have gotten the violation? Whoa, there's gunshots downtown. Hey man, what are you doing? Don't paint over the previous one. Find a new spot. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've been recklessly feeding on people in public and not violating the masquerade, but that random lady coming over here. 
The random lady. I thought I might have actually known her, but shh. Whatever. Whatever, screw you, lady. This is the stupidest reason I've ever gotten a violation for. Oh, ground zero, right here. Internet cafe and gaming center. Jeez, man. So, it's a nice night out, huh? What? You protecting her? Lovely evening. I don't know if she actually wants to do anything more with me. Dead X. Yeah, that was the that was the cafe that the lady was right in front of. Oh, whatever. Ground zero. Whoa, it's so AWP whore. What do you guys play here? CS:GO. See Jane Drive. Pronoun verb. Make learning fun. Need for speed. Learning. Ground zero login. You cutie you. Oh, it's somebody's somebody's logged in right now. S Subarashi. You spelled it wrong, but Subarashi is wonderful in Japanese. Hitomi, hello. From Ayako. From a Japanese email address. Hi, I'm Ayako. Let's English practice your homestay how it is. America must be so coolest. You are in Hollywood? Are you in a movie? Love Ayako. Oh, okay, okay. It's her friend from Japan trying to practice English with her. Regarding Hitomi, hello. Or, uh, reply, reply. President Kenta and I ate Okonomiyaki of Yokohama. That extremeness was tasty. Extremeness? What is eaten in America? Does they eat the Japanese food? I must investigate. Bye bye. <laughs> Are Americans have long legs? Are you date American boy? Is the image sent? It is happy. <laughs> this sounds like an American person trying to pretend to be a Japanese person bad at speaking English. Oh, there's one more. This weekend, I go to the hot spring where my family has been attached. I am excited very. When we are the child, is Yukie, which is the friend to us, remembered? She has also inquired about thing in America. Is the pleasant time past? Send many images due to me. Okay. Hmm. Just some random... Somebody didn't log out, that's all. A girl named Hitomi. So I gotta find the right computer then. Joseph K. Space Tennis Online. This is a surprisingly clean bathroom for the internet cafe. Park Rangers, a park service first person shooter. Not in my park, buddy. Your face looks so scary. Hey, what you guys playing? Hey, they were playing this back at, um... Back at, uh, what's that place called? The Astrolite Place? Bella Mort. Morte? Die, my darling. So hardcore. Computer time rates. $5 per hour. You must sign in. No porn. Darn. Am I allowed in? Wait. Employees only. I don't want to piss people off. But there's no one here right now. This internet cafe might be 24-7. Noob camper. Joseph K. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hey, guys. Uh, no. You look like, uh, what's his face? Back at the nightclub. Oh, yeah, we got that, uh, fake red bull thing here. Brack. I don't know what it says. Another brand, cola. Extreme hoop and, lo hoop and stick, three. Hmm. Not too much going on in here, I guess. It's fairly late at night. To Pacula. Sh shizzle. One. Smackdown? From Sephiroth at sol.vtm. Dude, my Prussians totally rushed your Franks last night. 
plain denied? Also, that girl that sits next to me in science talked to me today, she totally wants me to do her. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Regarding your mom, no dude, your mom. <laughs> your mom! Hot prawn. Psych, your mom! Oh, this is so painfully 2004. <laughs> Springing back a lot of unwanted memories. WTF from Thrill Ho. What are you doing to me, Tupacula? I said cover me, not die like a little bitch. One more foobar, and you're out of the clan. Damn, man, you're harsh. Good. From Sethiroth. I just straight snatched a new trick at game. If you hack through the code, you can unlock clan Chochula. Chochula? Ch Chochula? Like Gr Dracula? <laughs> oh my god. Even like the way people type back then. Saying prawn instead of porn. <laughs> it's like back in the days of MSN chat rooms and AOL or whatever. Hollywood Celebrity Database. Begin your search. All right. Hollywood Celebrities. Alonzo Alfredo. Hunky action star of syndicated TV detective show Beef Bartolo now serves up sandwiches named after his character at Jeremy's Famous Deli in nearby Beverly Hills. That didn't work out so well for him, huh? Safi Amore. A former dancer at the local Vesuvius Club, Safi is one of the few active adult film stars who also occasionally appears in mainstream media, known to drop in from time to time at the club where she made her name. Nice fake name. Blingo. Rap superstar and entrepreneur best known for his platinum albums, I-69 Blingo and Weed Metaphor, Blingo owns several sweatshops in the area <laughs> that turn out urban wear for his clothing line all up on ya. They just freely admit the sweatshops. Captain Bananas Known as the Olivier of chimp actors, Captain Bananas began his career as Trent Taylor's sidekick in the CIA film series, now stars in the popular TV drama Ape Detective, part owner in Hollywood hotspot Fling. Oh, this guy's doing pretty good for himself. Hey, we're looking at all this right now, but one of these might be related to a quest. So we'll read it now, but we'll probably have to come back later. Golden Gary. Gary? Wasn't the Nosferatu named Gary? Gorgeous Gary Golden was a star of such 30s classics as Tap Hotel and Singing Honeymooners. He later became a popular dramatic character actor in films such as Skies of Nevada. Shortly after his last film in 1960, Golden disappeared and was legally declared dead in 1965. Oh, it's gotta be the same guy. That's kinda tough, huh? He's leaving behind a life of fame for a life of eternity. Amalia. Model famous for her racy covers and high lifestyle, Amalia claimed... Hey, that was a password back in that one guy's house in uh, Skylines. The lady on the poster? Amalia claimed residence in Hollywood for several years. Tragically, her career was cut short in its prime. Her car was found wrecked at the base of the Hollywood Hills. Her remains burned beyond recognition. Oh no. Jerkass Johnny. Johnny Jerkass, I guess. Host of popular prank show Psych films most of his show on the streets of Hollywood. Famous pranks filmed on this very street were the wife hit by bus, the stripper is really a dude, and that's not really beer. That sounds like prank YouTubers, even in 2020. <laughs> Natalia Cross, superstar of the late 50s to late 60s, known for her class and natural beauty. In 1968, Cross was brutally murdered at her house in the Hollywood Hills. She is buried in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Oh jeez, man. Most of these famous people have pretty bad fates in the end. Zed Lungfish, the Lungfish, infamous for his onstage debauchery during his concerts, owns and operates the crematorium here in Hollywood. What? Crematorium of all things? Well, I suppose it's a it's a needed service like any other. Nivbed. If you want to spot this artist, try West Hollywood, but approach with caution. He's easily provoked to dangerous levels of sass. Okay. Oppenheimer. Jan. Producer of such films as Guy Fox Day, Explosion Every 60 Seconds, and Boston Harbor. Gets his hair done at the local salon Jump Cuts. How do you know that? and has been spotted buying music at local record store, Sappy Ballads. Hey, supporting local business. He's a good guy. <laughs> Revolta Jim. Jim Revolta. 
Remove from database a request of Church of Solicitology. Wow, I can't imagine what this is a reference to. <laughs> Rivers Ash. Oh, Ash Rivers, that was the guy on the radio or, um, TV? Didn't he get into a car accident? After his breakout performance in the film Negative Zero, Rivers garnered huge critical and commercial success in three more films before a shocking early retirement. Rivers spends most of his time these days managing his club, the Asshole, found right here in the heart of Hollywood. Oh, all right. S to Z, almost done. Sammy Frankie. Frankie Sammy. Wisecracking star of 70s TV show What's the Word, Sammy was found bludgeoned to death at the local Lucky Star two years after his popular show was cancelled. Yo, everyone... everyone has such bad fates here. Oh, Tawny. Tawny, Session... Oh, the other way around. Session... Tawny. Uber model Tawny, Tawny Sessions has an apartment right here in Hollywood and can be often found window shopping in Beverly Hills. Why window shop when you got enough money to not window shop? Ginger Swan. Swan, a name synonymous with beauty and glamour to this day, was a great celebrity of the late 40s and early 50s. Her credits included such movies as Gilded Hummingbirds and When No Means Yes. Oh my goodness. After her passing in 1964, she was interred in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery mausoleum. Another porn star, Margaret Tang. The most in-demand voice director in town, Margaret is known for coaxing brilliant performances and sometimes tears out of her actors. She is currently working in Hollywood on several A-list titles, including The Animated Adventures of Foul Mouth, The Freaking Chicken, and Frankenstein, Breadlust. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, uh, we got a brief look at what the town is like, and it's very... There's a lot of interesting characters here. Joseph K. Kafka. Email. Okay, yeah, sure. You said the directory was named Joseph K, not, not the email. Okay, whatever. Virus alert, read me. Again, MAV has detected a virus in the attachment of this message. The virus has been quarantined and a notice sent. And then the previous one. Meet me in the alley behind the fast buck. From VNK at bobcom.vtm. Bobcom. VNK. Alright. Apps. Dur. Access denied. Your account balance is 0 point or 56 cents. To recharge your account, please speak to a Ground Zero employee. So it sounds like he hasn't been here for a while. Okay. You are to meet with Isaac's contact in the alley behind the fast buck to pick up an item for Isaac. Dead X. I don't like the name of the quest. Is this cool? Yeah? No one's really gonna get mad at me? Reading emails, my favorite pastime. Oh. Well, no one's looking at this anyway. I thought that was me for a second. Scared me. No? Alright, fine. I guess that's it. There's not even employees here. The Cowboy's Guide to Cyberspace by Case. Oh man, I can't read this! Research level 8? This book seems different though, it's got an actual cover and all, as opposed to these books. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'll, I'll keep it in mind. Well, uh, have fun guys. I already forgot the name of the place. What was it? Fast Buck? The alley behind Fast Buck. I don't think I've seen a Fast Buck. Is there a map around here? Asian Theater. Cavaletti Cafe, Lucky Star, Red Spot, Metalhead Industries, Aspole, Sinbin, Hollywood Cemetery, Vesuvius, Hollywood Apartments. There is no fast buck here. Okay. Does that mean that it's so small that it's not even on the map, or am I not looking at the right place?
I mean, what we can do is just walk around the main street here and look at the sign names. Maybe we'll find it that way. Apartments. Adult, XXX, toys, DVDs, magazines, fetish. Fetish? We should have gone here to get the statue. That's where we get the statue. Sinbin. And this is actually openable, but uh, hold on. I want to find... Fast Buck, okay. Hey, how come this place didn't even have a... It's not on the map. What is it? Oh, it's like, um... Cashing, money orders, ta tax checks, bill payments, lottery. Like a money place. Like a loaning place? Oh. I think we have our guy. We're here to pick up a package. Do I need to be afraid? <laughs> yeah? What do you want? Are you the guy with the tape? Isaac sent me. Yeah? yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, bitch! Relax, you can trust me. What the hell is going on here? Why is he so scared? Because he's flaking on Isaac right now because he's really scared for some reason. Alright. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Why? What's going on? What's on the tape? Uh, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It, it can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real and it scares the hell out of me. Is it a torture video or what? Kind of reminds me of the ring. Really? Is it that bad? Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. It's okay, man. Just give me the tape within seven days. You'll be fine. What? What are you talking about? Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows. My phone rings. I hear something breathing on the other end and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. What's on the tape? What's on it? All right, all right. Just give me the tape. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger's swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. See what? What the... Oh, Christ! <gasps> What? Did he just go in the sewers now? Or what happened? What was that? Whoa! Whoa! Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Inventory full? I can't pick up an arm? No, we gotta go back in. Oh, we have too much crap in my inventory here. How do I get rid of some of this? These books. Um, I think I gotta go back to my apartment and try to, like, put it in my chest or something. But at the very minimum, we should be able to sell the watch. Damn, there's too much crap here. Oh, frick, man. Wait, so... I thought the guy was being paranoid. And I'm pretty sure we all felt that way. But according to what's happening here, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Yeah, that... Okay... Alright... I'll come back for the arm, don't you worry.